uh, and discussed, but a very different reaction from you, and that's hedge funds. Mm -hmm. And here it is from your home state paper, Stanford Advocate. Among Democrats running for president, Connecticut's Chris Dodd, the Senate Banking Committee chairman, who stated his reluctance to hike taxes and hedge fund profits, leads in political contributions from the booming investment sector. The tax code allows hedge fund executives to pay capital gains taxes if 15% of a portion of the profits they earn known as carried interest instead of paying the personal income tax rate, which can go as high as 35%. Dodd received $726,950 in donations from hedge fund executives for the first six months of the year, according to the Center for Responsive Politics. And then this from the Hill, a luncheon that you canceled when it became public. Senate Banking Committee Chair Chris Dodd invited top executives in the equity and fixed income trading and divisions of the nation's largest banks to have lunch with him in Manhattan in the hope of recruiting bundlers for his presidential campaign. You raise money from these guys, and then the legislation, which would raise the tax rate, to 30 percent, 35 percent, which normal people pay, gets killed. No, no. Old-time politics. Hasn't been killed at all. In fact, they haven't come out even in favor or opposed. The only thing I said... Harry Reid said, the leader of the Senate Democrats says it's dead. It's not dead. I don't think it's dead at all. And the point being is this. Look, there are unintended consequences of these actions. As, as chairman of the bank, I've been on that committee for 26 years uh, here. Uh, the next president of the United States is responsible for 14, a $14 trillion economy. Having some idea of capital formation in the country having a pro-growth Democrat that cares about these issues. What happens to endowments? What happens to retirement accounts? Uh, what happens to pensions? There are issues here that need to be addressed beyond the tax question. And as chairman of that committee, the responsible res answer, I think, is let's examine this. Uh, Dick Shelby, the Republican former chairman of that committee, I sent letters to the Treasury Department, the SEC, saying, tell us what the implications of all of this are. Are there some downsides to this we ought to consider? I consider that sort of responsible reaction here. I know the politics of this thing. Coming out against hedge funds doesn't require any great leap of understanding. Doing what's right and responsible on the issue is critical. I've been on this committee for a quarter of a century. I know these issues very, very well. No one has fought harder against the credit card industry. No one's fought harder against the predatory lending and the housing issues. No one's fought harder against the defrauds that went on in the student loan business. There's a long history. I've also stood up where I thought the financial services sector was doing the right thing. Having someone running for the presidency as a Democrat who understands these issues is not a liability, it's an asset, I think, when you consider the important fiscal questions. But these are the managers, these are the managers of the funds. The funds would not be affected, Senator, you know that. Uh, these are a handful of people who are making hundreds of millions of dollars, and if the tax rate was increased, the testimony before the Senate was, they'd still be in the business, they'd just pay the taxes. Uh, there's no question about that, but the question is, what do you do with that all of a sudden? Where does that shift resource capacity to me? It, is not, it isn't a slam dunk answer. There are people who legitimately think there are problems with, with changing the tax code on this point. They may ultimately, the point you're making, be correct. I'm not disagreeing with that. So you might support it? Absolutely. My question was, a responsible member of the committee, what ought to be the case here, is saying, what are the implications of this? I recall back years ago with the SNL crisis, people made a similar suggestion. And as a result of what they did, we had a huge problem on our hands. So here I'm merely trying to suggest that we act responsibly. And again, to make the point here, the, the next president of the United States has got some huge issues to deal with financially in the country. And having someone running for that job in that office of the presidency who has spent a quarter of a century dealing with these issues, both pro and con, I think is a value, not something to be, not something seen as a liability, if you will.